Hi, my name's Andrula and today we're making meatballs, Greek style. For this, you need a pound of minced pork, a pound of potatoes, two onions, two eggs, parsley, two slices of dry toast, salt, pepper, mint, cinnamon and baking powder. Let's start. We get our bowl, put your minced pork into the bowl. Put that one side. Next, we are going to grate our potatoes. Put that in on and grate. We will now transfer this onto our plate because what we're going to do here now is take all the water out of the potatoes. This gives our mixture a dry consistency because we don't want it wet. So to do this, let's just remove these big pieces that come, come in there. There we go. And what we do, we take little bunches and squeeze. Keep squeezing. If you've got a muslin, great. But I've, I always feel with a muslin, you can't always take the excess water out. So you've got mussels, this is brilliant. And when you find there's no more moisture, Put it into your bowl. There we go, nearly done. There we go. And just take the very small bits. There. Now, that's all into our bowl now. There we go. Next thing, we're going to use our blade. Again, if you've got one of these machines, brilliant. Get your onions. I find it's easier just to cut them into quarters. It makes mixing a lot easier. That's one, two. Lid back on and chop. Before we do anything, we'll chop finely. Let's have a look there. Yep, that's brilliant. Out. Take this and now using our spatula just remove it all and put it again all into our mixture. This is such a simple recipe. Even a child can do this so no excuses. There we go and again it's done in my eyes. Next thing we're going to put our machine back on with a blade on and still crying. Now we're gonna chop our bread. Again, I chop it like this, I cut it up. It makes it easier for mixing. There we go, on. Go, let's have a look. Right, that's lovely and done. Now we add this to our mixture, nicely finely chopped. To this we now add nine tablespoons of parsley, and that's level tablespoons, two eggs, just crack them into your bowl, and two teaspoons of salt, that's one, 11 teaspoons, two, a teaspoon of pepper, two teaspoons of cinnamon, cinnamon powder, a tablespoon, you know what, add another tablespoon, make that two tablespoons, of mint because I like my mint and two teaspoons of baking powder. The reason why we put baking powder into our mixture I find it makes our meatballs light and fluffy so whilst frying they do turn out that little bit fluffier and hopefully a little bit crispier. We've got everything into our bowl now now we start mixing. Just bring the mixture all together, scrunching as you go along. I find just gets everything together. As you can see, I keep mixing. 
So it's already starting to smell nice. And that's all it is. And they're very, very addictive because as you know, once you start frying, you've got to taste them and then you want to eat more. There we go. I think that could be enough. Now, to test, to see if the meatball is going to stay together, get a little one and put it into your hands and mix. There you go. This is the shape we want them at. Obviously, it's holding, so I'm happy with that. Okay, we start rolling. There we go. And we keep rolling until all the mixture's finished. And then we go to the next stage. And when you are making them, really sort of squeeze it a bit because you don't want them to start opening when we're frying. This is so easy. There we go. That's it. At this stage, I'd like to point out that if you don't like pork, you can actually use minced chicken, lamb or beef. I preferably like pork because it makes them, because you've got the fat in there and it does give it a better flavour. A little bit boring at this stage, but you know what? It's worth it in the end. Test to see if the oil is done. I'll just snip a little bit of our meatball and I'll throw it into our pan. When it comes to the top, and it's coming now, there we go, it's come to the top. Remove it, because now the oil is ready for frying. So let's set that to one side. Now we get our meatballs. Let's just uh, curl that one back up. And now we put them into our pan. Now you can see how much oil it needs. It comes a little bit, about three quarters of the way up to the meatball. There we go. Just add them one by one, gently. Don't throw them in, otherwise it does splatter. I do tend to do this a little bit slowly, only because of the reason I don't want the oil to cool down too much. Because when you're adding cold meat to hot oil, if you put too many at a time, it does cool down the oil. So I tend to do it very slowly. Every about five or six seconds I add another one. There we go. That's it. Let me just wait. I think to me these look lovely and done again exactly what I said nice and golden and with your slotted spoon shall we say start adding it into your your plate here or oval dish as you can see I've just put a bit of paper underneath just to soak up all the oil And like that, it keeps them nice and crispy as well. There we go. That's it. Our last bit of meatball coming into our plate. Okay, there we go. That's all done. That's our last of the meatballs. You can serve it with salad, chips, baked potatoes, anything you want. Or oh, ideal for parties as a little side. You can use anything, but me personally, I like to get them like this and eat them. Enjoy. Mmm. Mmm. Sweet food. Bye.